coach. Obviously, a tight win for you guys on this evening. One where you were tied up at halftime, 30 to 30. Some of the shooting was good, some of it was not, but you ended up getting the win. Talk about what you saw from you guys, especially down the stretch in the second half when they shot, I believe, what was it, 59% from the field in the second well, half. You know, and again, it, 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 it's so simple. We had big guys making big plays. We had our veteran players. You know, Drew had kind of a slow first half offensively, but he had, I, I pointed out there, he had seven boards. And we were and we were struggling on the boards a little bit again. But, uh, and Drew was like the only one getting any. So from that point, you know, and, and, and then Drew stepped up and just made some, you know, hit that big three when big the score three. was tied and we were having a little trouble with that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Almost went in and, for the jam on that, that breakaway yeah, layup. I well, and I was end. happy to see him make the right to say he didn't have his leg Right, and he'd been playing the whole game. I mean, and Drew is a tremendous athlete, so for him to not dunk that and just lay it in, thank God, yeah, because it was obviously we didn't need a missed dunk or have him stumble in that situation. But we did, we stepped up and made some really big shots. Jeff Larkin, again, this stuff's not coming. The game Saturday was brutal, and you look at your three key guys. And we didn't get a lot out of any of them Saturday for different reasons. Tonight, all three of them came up big. Deep ball started come a little up, bit slow, when, yeah, but it, came on strong. Yeah, we were very slow offensively, and, and we actually were slow defensively. We pointed out they had 18 points with 12 minutes to go in the first half. In the last 12 minutes of the first half, they scored 12 points. We were down 10. It was like 18 to 8 or something yes, like was. that during a timeout. I think I used our timeout. And I'm like, guys, if we don't play any better defense, and, and then again, the rebounding, I think they had seven offensive boards at halftime and wound up with 13. Again, the rebounding situation is something that we've just got to get better. And we're, you know, it, it, you can talk about it and talk about it, but at the end of the day, somebody got to go get balls. And, you know, a lot of times we didn't, but. We did, you know, the big thing is, like I said, we Drew stepped up, made some big shots. Jeff made some major plays, getting to the rim, scoring, hit hit a cut, hit one shot clock three, um, you know, against that zone early. Um, you know, and Adam had a big night. You know, we Adam stepped up and played really well. The other thing I thought Tyler. Tyler Estep, who hasn't been playing as much. Saw so a lot thought, of time in the first half I because Larkin was on the bench. And, 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 and on, well, some of that, but also what happened is Alex was struggling. Alex was not having a great game for Al like he's been playing lately. And it's kind of like, and I turned to the coach, I said, well, you know, and I said about, I said, turn to the coach, I said, we want to get Tyler in there. And like the whole coach, I'm like, yes, they screamed because, you know, Tyler was getting things done tonight. He got a big put back uh, when we were kind of troubled and, you know, kind of threw up a rough shot and he tipped one in for us. And, Hit a big three in the first half when we were getting back in the game. JT Moody hit a big three. Great three. In the first half when, again, when we had been down 10 and we were crawling back in, you know, to where we got in a position where we where we wound up tied at halftime. And that was major to, to kind of, after as much as we struggled in the first half, to be able to walk in that locker room with a score tied, you know, it was a lot better because we struggled like that Saturday, but we were down eight and it just kind of went farther south. But tonight we were able to get that and, you know, we lost the lead a couple of times but you know it was it was close all the way they switched there i think to the end to what looked to my eye like his own defense and right one three one, one right and they the extended one three that. one and we went a little out. bit deer in the headlight that was you know alex lost one we just weren't attacking it we were we, we were willing to stand there and toss the ball back over and back and forth across the top guy you got to take it you know and after you make that pass once or twice you got to penetrate the gap and you know and then create something because they got three guys out front you stand there and play two on three and never go to the basket. We finally got the one over the top when Drew hit that three, and we got it. I thought we had Adam a couple times inside where we missed him. But um, is part of that being a younger team just sort of, sort of being some of it? Yeah, not I mean, attacking. And, I, and I, I just think at times too, we're, we're physically not as strong as we need to be with these young guys. They, we got, you know, we're not the biggest on the weight room as far as a lot of teams. But there's not a lot you can do with freshmen when they come in because you're not doing a lot of hard lifting during the season. But we got a lot of guys in our freshman and sophomore class that have really got to get in the weight room and they know it. Adam definitely and Adam's been an amazing player but he's got to get stronger. You know, he We got him the ball finally one time there low and he tried to go between his legs with it. I wanted to strangle. You know, it's like just be solid. Just be strong with the ball and you know because the thing is you're already not as strong as a guy that's guarding you. He's quicker. He's more physical. He's three or four years older. 
you can't, you know, you, you get knocked. And that's what happened to Alex a couple times. He's got, he's got quicker, stronger guys coming at him. And, you know, you just got to be more physical. And, they, again, they've got to learn that. And I, they, I think those, those two, because of playing and the wear and tear, understand that when this season ends, they've got to spend seven months. they got to get stronger. They, they, we, we've got to get physically stronger. But, again, it, it was a great win. I mean, we've got ourselves back. I think this is, again, after the one and four start, I think this is about the fourth time we've battled our way back to 500. Yeah. We have not been able to get over this hump yet. We have Saturday, is, and we're going to be playing an, a very, very good team, one of the top five or six teams in the region right now. Um, good defensively. We've got to well. bring it. we got to bring it Saturday. It, it's, it's just going to be critical that we find a way to, to hold down the home fort one more time before we have to go on the road because four of those last five games are on the road. And then you got Alabama Huntsville right. at home. Yeah, we got, and the one we have at home is the, probably the hardest one. The team is in first place. So none of those last five games are going to, well, none of these last six games are going to be easy. They're all going to be, best case scenario, they're going to be like tonight. Well, wish you luck. We're going to be battling, and it's going to boil down to making a free throw, hitting a big three. It seemed like they, boy, they hit a lot of them too down the stretch. But uh, it is a great win, and hopefully we can build from it. It's good. It came yeah. together, but it came, it came together late, but it came you together. Know, and if we get this one Saturday, Eli, I don't know. We, you know, we may have to just keep him out, find another Super Bowl, or let him go to the. I can, I can butter him up a little let, bit. Let him go to the NHL play. I'm sure he'd like that. But I, uh, I won't I like that. I'll, I'll, I'll bring some, some lucky yep. underwear on Saturday there, for sure. Okay. Okay. Four o'clock tip off right. for West Georgia and the Bucks on Saturday. This is head coach Mike Neener joining us in post game show. Thanks so much, coach. Once again, congrats. Thanks, Tyler.